In this video, I'm going to answer the questions, how do you find the best stocks for selling put options on, and how do you identify option trading opportunities? The answers to these questions will enable you to consistently put cash into your account every single month using options. I'm Randy Perez. I'm a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. If you're already a member of our community, thank you for setting aside a part of your day to be here. If you're not already a member of this community, go ahead and click that subscribe button and bell notification. You'll be joining a community of traders and investors that are helping each other become more knowledgeable and profitable. In this video, I'm going to show you the simple process I go through to find the best stocks for selling put options on and for identifying option trading opportunities. What are the biggest challenges that you face as an option trader? In the comments below, let me know what your biggest challenges are. And stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will share with you how you can have a lot of the work I'm about to talk through done for you. I'm going to talk through this video by using my real life trades. The first thing you want to have at your disposal in order to find option trading opportunities is to have a group of stocks that you're tracking for opportunities to trade options in. It might be 10 stocks or over 170 like I have as you can see here on the screen. It's important to give yourself as many different opportunities as possible to find the best option trades on an ongoing basis. The reason is that there will be times when most of the stocks that you're tracking are up and don't provide that great of an opportunity to sell put options. By having a wide selection of stocks that you're tracking for option trading opportunities, there will always be something that you can sell put options on for awesome returns. What stocks should you be tracking? Some option traders only focus on the highly volatile stocks. Personally, I think that's a mistake. Volatility can help you to get more premium, but volatile stocks can also move against you in a big way really fast. I've spent hundreds of hours researching the over 170 stocks that I trade options in. These are all stocks that I would feel comfortable owning if they were put into my account as a result of selling put options. They are, in my opinion, solid, stable, mature companies. On a daily and weekly basis, I review the charts of the 170 plus stocks for opportunities to trade options in them. Again, if you'd like someone else to do most of this work for you, stay tuned in until the end of this video and I'll share with you how you can get access to all the work I've put into finding and tracking trading opportunities on the stocks that I follow. Once you've accumulated a nice list of stocks that you're comfortable trading options on, the second step is to actually look for opportunities in your list on a daily or weekly basis. You want to do this because as you can see here, you never know when one of the put options that you have sold becomes nearly worthless and you can swap it out for a new position that's doubling down on your profit that month. As option traders, we get paid more for options and stocks that are experiencing volatility. So on a weekly basis, I'm scanning through my 170 stocks to find the ones experiencing declines over the recent weeks. I'm not just looking to sell puts on a declining stock, but I'm also looking for opportunities to sell puts on stocks that have been declining but have started to stabilize. You see, volatility, it can be your friend as an option seller. So on a daily and weekly basis, I'm looking for those opportunities in my group of stocks that I can sell put options on, on stocks that are recently declining but have started to stabilize. Let me show you what I mean by looking for stocks that have started to stabilize. Here you see the daily and weekly charts of cone. Here is what I saw that prompted me to sell some put options in cone. At the white line, you see that over the past two months, when cone stock price comes down to around the $67.5 area, it's been finding some nice support. That was the first thing that caught my eye. It's been declining since October, but it has, over the past several weeks, begun hanging around this support level of $67.50. If you watch my channel, you know that I like to look at multiple time frame stock charts before I make a decision. If you'd like more information on how I use multiple time frames to find stock and option trades, check out the video in the link above and the description below entitled Multiple Time Frame Support and Resistance when you're done watching this video. Next, I looked at the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, I saw the same thing. Around the $65 to $67.5 price area, Cone seems to have found some nice support based on some previous lows back in January of this year. If Cone just continues to decline, then we feel pretty confident that it'll find some support at the 200 moving average on the weekly chart, which is around 
So now that I've identified a stock that has some volatility priced into the options because it's been declining, but I see that it's approaching a nice price range that it should find some good support. So I feel comfortable selling options on this stock. Now that we have identified a stock that we feel comfortable selling put options in, step three is that when you have capital ready for a trade, maybe one of the positions that you sold had become nearly worthless and you closed it out, and then it's time to analyze the returns of the various option trades that you've identified that day or that week. I know this may not be that legible to you, but I wanted to show you my chicken scratch for the trade that I did yesterday when I closed out the six put option contracts that I sold 12 days ago on Pfizer. I had sold to open the December 18th $35 put options and received 70 cents per share for that. Yesterday I bought to close this position because those options, they were only worth eight cents. So step three is to analyze the returns of your potential trades and pick the best ones to trade while still keeping your position size in line. This means you have to run numbers to figure out the returns you will receive from each of those potential trades. Here you see that I ran numbers on about 10 different possible trades and stocks that I had noted early in the week were looking prime for an option trading opportunity. I ran the returns on the various strike prices that I was willing to sell put options at and chose the two best stocks to put my Pfizer capital into. You see at the top that Cone would produce around a 30% annualized cash on cash return. HTA about a 21% and Walgreens about a 23.6% return. Others like PEG, they were only a 20% return and the other one right above that, PSA, was only a 16% return. So step three is to run your numbers and decide what your best returns are out of the potential trades you have while maintaining your max position size. For example, the maximum amount that I want at risk in any one stock is 5%. I prefer to have between 1% and 3%, but my max is 5%. Once I hit that percentage at risk in that stock, I will not add to that position. If you like information on how I use technical analysis to pick the strike prices I trade options at, check out the video in the link above and the description below entitled, How to Trade Using Technical Analysis when you finish this video. Next, we're going to talk about the fourth step I do to identify option trading opportunities, but if you're liking the video, why don't you do me a favor and tap the thumbs up button. It helps support the channel and it means a lot to me. And stay tuned until the end of this video where I will share with you where you can basically press the easy button on everything I'm talking about here. Where you can go to find a lot of the information I'm talking through and have it at your disposal every single day. Step four might be your favorite step. I know it's mine and that's to pocket your cash or make the trade. I feel like this is kind of a no-brainer, but it's really the funnest step because you get paid. So we pocket our bounty and then we move on to step five, which in my opinion is probably the most important step. Step five is to set alerts on your new positions so that you get a notification as soon as the put options that you have sold become nearly worthless so you can close them out and either roll them into a new position or open a new position in a brand new stock. If you only have one or two positions, then this might not be that big of a deal because you'll be able to keep track of them pretty easily on your own. But as your account grows and you have more positions, it's a lot easier to have an alert set so you don't miss an opportunity to close out a nearly worthless position and enter a new one. Typically, I have around 30 to 40 positions on at any one point in time. So here you see a list of all the alerts that I have set right now so that as soon as a position I'm in becomes nearly worthless, I get an alert to remind me to either roll that position out or buy to close a position and sell to open some new puts in a brand new stock. I can't tell you how many times I would have totally missed an opportunity if it were not for these alerts. My alert in Pfizer was the reason why I knew that I needed to close out that position and roll it into a new one. The result is that I was able to pocket an additional $478 as you can see on the screen. I bought to close the sixth Pfizer December 18th $35 put option contracts and sold to open five of the HTA January 15th $25 put contracts for 70 cents a piece and one of the cone January 15th $65 put option contracts for $1.80 per share. If I didn't have an alert set, then I may have left that Pfizer put option position sit out there for another two weeks until option expiration finally hit. At the beginning of this video, I told you I was going to show you how you could basically hit the easy button on this whole process. On a daily and weekly basis, I review the over 170 stocks that I've previously determined are financially strong enough companies to trade in. I share this information freely with my patrons. Every weekend, they get a list of my top stocks that I plan to take advantage of trading in that next week. If you'd simply like to get notified of my top picks every week, 
You can get that for just 10 cents a day or $3 a month. If you'd like to be notified of all my exact orders and trades every day, you can do that as well for less than a dollar a day. Becoming a patron will give you new trading ideas every week and take a lot of the legwork out of finding the best stocks for selling put options on. If you'd like more information on how to become a patron, check out the link in the description below. And a quick shout out and a big thank you to all of our current Patreon members. Thank you for your support. Check out the videos in the link above and the description below where I share with you exactly how much cash flow we receive on a monthly basis by selling options. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.